As a clarification, I'm not a fascist, much in the same way I'm not a feudalist. That's just it. I don't look into this kind of stuff. I probably never will look into this kind of stuff. I play the political game the standard way. It didn't fit perfectly, so I threw it out. To misquote Nas. To quote him properly would be to say, I tried him, wore him, wasn't a perfect fit or some shit like that. But, I am really annoyed by the Antifa. I think Facebook has a negative impact on the way people think. Because, when I started looking into politics via the internet, I started in YouTube. I didn't do that Facebook stuff, I didn't check my news feed, so I wasn't in a conspiratorial, liberal environment. YouTube, as opposed to Facebook, is more... adorable. There's a large community of... Fedora atheists and atheist cults, and the environment is definitely more one for, I guess, empathy people as opposed to people that really don't care and just want to get laid, which and sound smart while they're doing it, smart and alpha, which is a Facebook environment. You definitely don't have the keyboard warriors on Facebook that you do have on YouTube. But that's because YouTube again is full of empty people just trying to rack up their egos. But again, the United States is the most macho thing you can destroy right now. It truly is. If you want to be the tough guy that goes, as a scrub might say, the Henry Rollins direction where you eat and shit out homophobes and you're flexing on these girls, as I would say, then you would go in the way of being anti for being against the Nazis, being against all these strong things that are full of virility. That's the direction you go. Because, to quote Ric Flair, to beat a man, you gotta beat the man. And that's what liberalism has been doing. It's been recruiting young people to beat the man, which is actually just an up-and-comer at a person that has a chance of destroying liberalism. So, they'll fight the Nazis, or the fascists, or the communists, or any of these things that have the potential to threat liberalism. That's what they do. They send these young guys that are just trying to get laid, maybe have some form of intellectual capacity, but they're useful idiots. And that's what they are. They should just admit that. One of the, the hardest things about this civilization is that nobody can admit that they're stupid. Back then, they could admit that they're stupid. They, they were humbled. People nowadays aren't fucking humbled. They never have been, they never will be, and that's just a fact. Because if they get humbled, even for a little while, They'll find a way to boost up their ego again with their shitty fucking friends and all this stuff. It's never gonna, they're never even gonna evolve past that because they don't have the right environments. But now you got people that legitimately think that the United States is a fascist nation, which it's not, never has been, never will be. And you can 
from whatever opinion you want about that. Yes, it's corrupt, but guess what? It's always been corrupt. It always will be. And if it isn't, then... It's probably because it did go to fascist direction if it gets better. Because fascism was never as corrupt as what we're dealing with now. We're all about helping the corrupt people where fascists were throwing them out initially. Maybe over time they did form their own kind of issues. But I think fascism was more about destroying the corruption. And when you're talking about people who are getting rid of the mafias and the cultists, it's the fascists. If anyone's going to do some corruption, it's them. The United States is a different thing. The United States is all about the democratization of policy, of really appealing to the ignorant, the rationally ignorant. And we can see the results of that. The Antifa, that's what you get. Just these privileged white boys and these losers on the internet trying to go after some imaginary force that hasn't been here in decades. And thanks to them, it probably never will be. So that's some food for thought. This is Mr. Wonka 7, and thank me later.